I'm participating in my very first readathon. <laughs> Welcome back to Bookish with Mariah. So I am Mariah and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be announcing that I'm going to be participating in a readathon. So I have done readathons before on Instagram and also on my Facebook page, but never on YouTube. So I was like, oh my goodness, I have to do it. I wasn't planning to participate in a readathon this month because my August TBR is like insane, but I'm going to participate in one because when I saw the message behind this one, I was really excited and I just really wanted to get involved and I really love what it's about. So I cannot wait to describe to you and talk to you all all about what I'm going to be doing for this month in August, the readathon that's called Heartathon. So we all know that we read a lot. If you're in the booktube world, bookstagram world, or you're just an overall reader that loves to read, we encounter and get to know so many characters that we cherish and that we love. I know there's so many times where I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could meet some of these characters in person because they are absolutely wonderful. And so many of them really have an impact on even my life just because of the lessons that I learn. A lot of the characters that we meet, they are built with so much courage and strength and creativity and they have so many wonderful morals and values that they uphold and that they will fight for and so that is what the heartathon readathon is actually all about it's celebrating those characters that we know and that we love and that we value that we just want to take time to acknowledge and do a readathon to celebrate them in the best way possible doing a readathon. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're not weird. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and explaining to you all in a little bit more detail what the Heartathon is all about. I just told you all the purpose of the Heartathon. Now I'm gonna tell you all who is actually hosting the Heartathon. So I have my reading journal here, which you all have saw me talk about in plenty of videos before. So here it is. So if you see me glancing down, that's just me looking at some of the notes that I took for the Heartathon. All right, so the Heartathon is hosted by Will from The Book Barrel. We have Bentu from Read with Bentu, Ray from Whiskey on My Kindle, and Joe from The Booktube Dude. I'm really excited. Those are channels that I have recently started to watch. As you all know, I'm actually new here on Booktube myself, so I'm always interested to meet new Booktubers, to add new Booktubers to my playlist, and just to watch a lot of new content. So all of their channels are really awesome. I am gonna link all of their channels below this video, so that way if you want to check out their content, please do, of course. And um, definitely just give them and show them some love in the comments and in the likes and support their channels. I really think this readathon is so very special and hey it's another way to celebrate the characters that we love so much all right so let's move right on to the prompts all right so for the first prompt it says read a book about someone real or imaginary who exhibits courage innovation or outstanding achievement through education or education reform well for my august tbr i'm actually reading a book right now that to me i feel like really fits this challenge i would say and so the book that i'm going to go with and i put them all right here so i have them pulled off my bookshelf already so the book that i'm going to go with for this challenge for challenge one it's going to be strange the dreamer by lanny taylor the reason why i'm going with this book is actually a little bit more unconventional when it comes to this challenge but it is because the main character laszlo in this book definitely is fighting for his right to learn his right to do research his right to education so this book follows the story of a young boy for his whole life from the time that he was like he could even remember he's been learning about an ancient city called weep and weep has never been seen for at least 200 300 plus years like people don't know much about the ancient city anymore and it basically has turned into like an old folk tale and so he grows up in a with a lot of different um orphans and he grows up in like a monastery with a lot of monks and so his parents were killed when he was young during the war as like a lot of orphans and so he kind of grew up 
just gaining knowledge based off of what he heard from stories or what he saw he wasn't allowed for to an education when he was really young either and so when he's 13 years old he gets exposure to a library and he ends up moving into that library with the monks there or the scholars that were there and he started to learn and educate himself on the city of weep well his whole life has been wrapped up in understanding weep and who the city is or where the city is or who the people were during the time that weep was a thriving country or a th thriving community or whatever you would call weep in this world and so he gets an opportunity well they are everybody's given an opportunity to possibly travel to weep when an explorer shows up at the library and asks for as scholars and adventurers to come with him on this expedition to the city of weep and it's laszlo's whole entire life that he has studied the city of weep and he really wants to go well he's being denied access to go on this trip because of his status so since he comes from a poor background he doesn't have high status he's being denied that opportunity and so he's fighting for his opportunity for his research he's fighting for his opportunity to lead by example to show other people that are like him or come from places like him that they can put a lot of work into their research they can study and be very smart and educated and have the time to go out and achieve all of their dreams because right now he's kind of looked at in this story as somebody that's like oh you come from a poor background you can't be smart unfortunately that's really unfortunate it's really sad and so he's fighting for that in here and for his right to education and to knowledge and I absolutely love this character I'm 300 pages into this 500 page book and I think Laszlo really exudes what it means to have courage and to fight for what he believes in through knowledge and his education all right so for the second prompt it says read a book about someone real or imaginary who exhibits courage innovation or outstanding achievement through the field of art well for me I'm absolutely this was an easy one I knew which book I was gonna go with because I'm absolutely enjoying it right now and that is the city we became by NK Jemison actually fits this writing I'm not writing prompt what am I saying <laughs> I'm an educator and I teach school so I'm always talking about writing prompts I meant that uh, fix this reading prompt so the city we became there's two characters in here that I feel like really exude or fits this prompt very very well because one of them is an artist and one of them is a musician she's a rap MC and so if you're not familiar with what the city we became is the story is basically following about four or five different perspectives so the story it switches a lot in here and it, it all of the people are from well they're not from but they all live in New York and they all represent a certain borough of the of everywhere so you have the Bronx you have Queens you have Brooklyn you have Manhattan and you have Staten Island and then you have like the city of New York and so each one of them represents a different part of New York and they are basically fighting against an evil that's trying to take over the city and in doing that they have to come together and put all of their powers together because this is an urban fantasy and they have to put all of their powers together to defeat this evil and that's basically like a quick version of what the story is about but anyway the two characters that I want to highlight in this story is the Bronx. The Bronx is a individual that owns an art gallery and she has to fight for her right to not display art in her gallery that is discriminatory. There is a person that has come into her gallery that wants to display his art in her gallery and he is somebody that basically has discriminated against people of color, women, and also people from the LGBTQ community. He's basically being very, very discriminatory in a lot of different forms and he wants to display his art in her gallery. She tells him no because it goes against their beliefs and what their gallery is about and he basically decides that he's going to get on the internet and try to shame her and say he's being discriminated against because he can't have the right to freedom of speech and so she is actually fighting for her art gallery and she's fighting to display art in her community that she feels is going to uplift the community sorry <laughs> that she feels is going to uplift the community the MC artist in here she actually used lyrics and like rap lyrics and her music that she grew up listening to um in a way to where she's actually able to fight against the evil that is trying to take over New York so in one of the scenes she starts to rap and she starts to reminisce on her days as a young MC and she used those vibes to actually fight against the evil in New York and I just loved it. I love the whole thing as you can see I've already like really tapped have this book because I'm absolutely enjoying it I am 300 pages into this one as well and I'm really loving it. and I feel like both of those characters fit the writing prompt oh, I keep saying writing prompt I'm so sorry you all <laughs> 
fits the reading prompt very, very well. All right, so for the third prompt, it says read a book about someone real or imaginary who exhibits courage, innovation, or outstanding achievement through technology. And I'm adding this one to my August TBR, which I told you all in my last video is insane for me because since I work in education, August is a really busy month for me and it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try to do it. But the book that I'm choosing to fit the technology reading prompt <laughs> is gonna be Slay. Oh my goodness. This is Slay by Brittany Morris. I have been trying to get to this book for a while and I actually forgot that I was going to read this with one of my, with two of my line sisters, two of my sorority sisters for the month of August. So I had to add it to my August TBR. It is Slay and I'm really excited to get to it. This book follows the story of a young girl named Kira. Kira is a high school student who is doing very, very well. She's a straight A student, very, very bright, very smart. And she goes to a predominantly white high school and she's trying to navigate through that world that she's living in she lives in one neighborhood at home which she lives around a people that a lot of people of color and then she goes to school and she's out of school to where she has to face racism and a lot of discrimination unfortunately and so she develops a game where black gamers can actually play this game and it's basically like a safe haven for people of color to um play the game and it's in the gaming world and so she is fighting against racism in the gaming world and so someone gets hurt i think because i haven't read it yet someone gets hurt and it basically falls back to the game slay that she created and she has to deal with the drama of all of this uh press that is now focused on her game nobody knows that she made the game as far as her boyfriend or her family they don't know that she's the game creator of slay and so i'm interested to see how she's gonna fight against so much negativity that's surrounding her new game when it started out as something so positive for the people of um people of color and so i think here is gonna be a phenomenal character to get to know and i honestly cannot wait all right so for the next prompt this is the last prompt it says Read a book about someone real or imaginary who exhibits courage, innovation, or outstanding achievement through going against the status quo. Well, there is someone very special that I am going to truly love because I'm reading this series right now and I'm really, really enjoying this series. And that is going to be Juliet from the Shatter Me series. So I'm holding up the third book because I'm actually reading the third book for the month of August. And Juliet is definitely a fighter. She goes against the status quo for sure. So basically, Juliet is living in a world to where she is like a post-apocalyptic type world. And basically, everybody has got used to the way things are and that is living under of under a government who pretty much has ripped away everything that they've ever known as far as their heritage their culture like the way that they live they have to get their food from the government they have to get their shelter from the government like they can't do anything by themselves they always have to depend on the government and they are basically under a one world order Juliet is one of those people that's a part of the resistance that's actually fighting back against the status quo because right now it is is not going well and a lot of people are dying and suffering and being abused and they're forced out of their homes and where they live and people are forced into the war they're forced to fight a war that they don't even believe in so Juliet has a fatal touch so anybody that touches her dies and if she touches someone she dies so she has to wear a special suit that basically stops her from killing people on accident and there's a lot of people in the world that has abilities just like hers but hers is by far one of the most powerful so I love her story because she's banding together to try to fight against all of this horrible horrible all of the horrible things that's going on in her world right now and she's one of the few people that actually still remembers the world how it used to be before the reestablishment actually took over so i really think that juliet this character and the ignite the ignite me the shatter me series is going to be a good book to read and to feel this particular reading prompt all right so that is all for my readathon announcement. I just wanted to let you all know that I will be participating. I know as a new booktuber sometimes it's really hard to find ways to get involved or to know when things are happening on booktube i know i had a hard time with it and i still do but i'm always excited when i see announcements like this one where someone tells me the information i'm able to just join on and participate so the readathon is happening right now it started on august the 1st and it's going to be going on the whole month of august i'm really really
really excited and I hope you all join on and join this readathon. It's for a really, really good cause, a really, really good message behind it. And I actually feel so connected to it already just because I love the characters that I'm going to be reading about so much. And there's characters that I have already made connections to because I've been reading several series. And so I'm really, really looking forward to this readathon. So if you have read any of the books I mentioned in this video, please be sure to comment below. I would love to know your opinions on these books and what you thought about them and the characters that I chose for the prompts. I feel like they really fit so well and I'm already starting on the readathon now. You all have plenty of time to get involved. It's four prompts. If you find a book that fits all four prompts, you can do that as well if it works best for you. If you find a book that fits two of the prompts and you want to use that book for two prompts, that's also fine. Don't feel pressured to pick up a lot of books or add a whole lot of books to your TBR. So I would say definitely good luck reading and I'm so excited to see what you all do for the readathon. If you participate, please let me know because I would love to watch you all's videos just to see um, what you all decide to do. And if you do participate in the readathon, don't forget to hashtag hashtag heartathon so that way it'll be easy to find your videos and also the people that are hosting the videos don't forget to show them some love and post your link to your announcement video in their comments so that way they can see what you all are reading or if you want you can just comment in their comments like what books you decided to choose for what prompt because I'm sure they would love to hear from all of you all and to just understand what you all decided to choose for the readathon so I hope you all have enjoyed this video I know I enjoy making it today has been an awesome day an awesome reading day I'm about to get back to reading right now because I'm so invested in the books I'm reading right now and I cannot wait to do a wrap up later on this month for you all but that is all for today don't forget to follow me on Instagram at bookish with Mariah if you haven't already I'm going to be talking about this readathon on my Instagram as well and posting pictures of the books that I'm going to be reading for the readathon so don't forget to follow me as on there I cannot wait yes all right so I will see you all in the next video bye Bye.